Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy Technically T hitting you with yet another case review today for the iPhone 12 Pro Max and we have the Impact case from Caseify. So as always, a huge shout out to them for dropping me this case to review. Now, if you want to see the Ultra Impact, which is the one that offers a little bit more protection, I will be sure to link that video review for the 12 Pro model. It's going to be the same exact case, just smaller, of course. And if you go with the Ultra Pro is going to be bigger for the Pro version. So check that case out. Of course, that was going to be a solid offering as well. But let's go ahead and get it out. This is going to be their impact case. And let's take a look. Now, the one they sent me has like a blue going into a purplish pinkish gradient. So that's, that's kind of a dope little colorway they have going on right here. But let's take a look at it. And this is going to be a clear version. Now, I'm pretty sure they offer some that has designs on the back. They, they're very customizable over there on Caseify. So definitely go and check them out. On the back, since we're looking at it, you get that classic Caseify around the camera logo there. Cut out for your mute toggle, volume up and down. Now, they do have little air slits in between them. So I know that's a, that's a plus and a minus to a lot of people because you think dust can get in there. Something that to think, you know, something to think about. Flipping it over on the bottom, we do have the accurate speaker cutout, so we're definitely good to go there when we are talking about the speaker cutouts. Definitely good. Nice to see accurate cutouts. Get that cutout for that lightning. And on the right side, you do get that raised up power button. Same thing with the slits. Now, on the inside, as you can see, and you kind of can see it along the outsides, they do have that impact material. So this is going to help it absorb that impact, absorb that drop protection. I'm not sure how much is rated drop protection. I'll be sure to link it down below or pop it up on the screen. But... Definitely feels like a case that can protect pretty good. So let's go ahead and pop. It's very snug fit. All right, there it is. Let's go ahead and pop the 12 Pro Max right here into the Case Defy Impact case. And let's go ahead and take a look at it. So mute toggle switch isn't really hugely recessed, but it's not hard to get your finger in there at all. Volume up volume down they feel very very good flipping over on the bottom all of your ports are good to go just like i stated before you do get those accurate speaker cutouts and everything is aligned just perfect no issues there and power button also very nice and tactile flipping over on the back you have that even though it doesn't have a lip for the camera it's thick enough to actually recess it in there so when you put it down you're not actually sitting on the camera so that's a good job there taking a look at that lay on the tail protection this does have a nice little lip that goes all the way around it now i am running a tempered glass screen protector so if that's what you do you can kind of see the levels of razivity <laughs> that you get when it comes to the actual lay on the tail protection but it does have a little bit there so you definitely should be good to go if you are one of those people who put your phone face down. Now, how does it actually fit on the phone? The fit is absolutely amazing. The top, when we're talking about tugging, I'm really tugging hard to get the top of the bulge. Very snug fit when it comes to the side. It's going to give a little bit by the volume up and down in the power button, but still very stiff. Coming along down the bottom, super stiff, can't get it to pull. And when it comes to the bottom down here, very, very sturdy. So they knocked it out of the park when it comes to the fit of this case. And how does it feel in your hands? It feels pretty good. It definitely feels like you have a case that can protect it, meaning it does add a little bit of bulk to your case, to your whole phone package, but it's not super duper thick. And another thing, it is a clear case, so you probably will see some fingerprints. That's just the nature of running clear cases. But this case does feel a little bit slippery. And I do feel like they would have benefited if they would have added just a little bit of grip on the outside because holding this case, it definitely, definitely is a slippery one. So, you know, it is what it is. A lot of you don't mind that when it comes to clear cases. Checking to see if it works with that MagSafe. It's catching Chi, but let's see if I can grab it. With, I think that's it right there. Okay, it kind of grabbed it, but it's not really catching on with the MagSafe right now. So you might can get it to work, but as you can see, you really have to play with it just a little bit too long. But I'm not actually getting it to come up. So that is what it is when it comes to that. And dropping it on regular wireless charging, it does work just fine with the regular wireless charging. So here it is. This is going to be their impact case from Case RG4 to 12 Pro Max. I will be sure to link this bad boy down below. And I'll also link the Ultra Pro. It's just so if you want that case as well, you can go definitely cop one. So you already know, man. Head over to the website. Tell them Teddy T sent you. Go cop you one. You already know. Do all the YouTube things. Hit that like button. Comment down below. And you already know. Turn that bell on as well. Hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any future videos. I'm Teddy T. I'm about to get up out of here. Everybody, please stay safe. Catch you on the next one. Later.